Welcome Thundercat fans to another Third Earth Reviews toy review and today I will be reviewing the Thundercats hero Bengali. Bengali was released in series 3 of the LGN Thundercats toy line in 1987. Bengali is one of my favorite Thundercats so I'm very happy that LGN produced a figure that was such a great representation of the original cartoon character. His blue and white paint deco really stands out against your other Thundercat figures as they have a more red and orange theme. There are not many sculpted details since his stripes are painted on, however that does not take away from the figure's overall appearance. Bengali is one of the medium sized Thundercat figures as he is slightly shorter than Lionel and has a very similar sculpt to the older version of Tigra. Bengali has the same basic articulation as most of the LJN Thundercats. His head can turn left and right, his arms can move up and down, and his legs can move forward and backwards. Bengali's battlematic action is an up and down hammer attack. This attack can be activated by pressing down on the trigger on his back. Unfortunately, the trigger on my figure is damaged, so his battle magnetic action will not work. Therefore, for this video, I'm going to use my old Tigra figure as an example since they have similar sculpts. And while he doesn't hold a hammer in his hand very well, you can get an idea of what Bengali's battle magnetic action would be like. Bengali comes standard with his signature weapon, the Hammer of Thundera. Finding a complete Bengali with his hammer might be a little difficult or pricey. However, there are some good reproductions out there for this accessory if you want to complete your figure. The hammer I am using for this review is a reproduction. Aside from Pumira's sling and Tiger's Bolo whip, Bengali's hammer is one of the more popular accessories to be reproduced. So if you are looking for a vintage weapon to complete your figure, make sure you take a note of the color and sculpted details for this accessory. Reproductions tend to be off color and have muddy details or large seams. As a note, in the mini catalog, Bengali is shown with an axe instead of his signature hammer. There are a few variations of Bengali. The first is his packaging. Like Pumira, some of the Bengali packaging has a new sticker with his name while others do not. Again, this doesn't seem to affect the value of the mint on card figure, so it's just an interesting fact. Outside of the US, Bengali was also released as a two pack with the orange laser saber. In addition, there were also a couple variations of the figure itself. While I could not confirm this information, it seems that the UK version of Bengali was made of a white plastic and given a blue paint deco. This version also had a cyan blue colored body. The US version of Bengali was made of a blue plastic and given a white paint deco. His body was made of a light blue color. And finally, the playful version of this figure was a modified tiger base that came with a silver metal hammer. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can check out all my other reviews. In my next vintage Thundercat review, I will be taking a look at the Berserker villain Top Spinner. So until then, this has been Third Earth Reviews.